my average wake up time is between, I would say, 6 and 6.30. Shower, get ready, um, iron my clothes uh, that need to be ironed that day if I didn't do it the night before. Um, from that point, then I make sure I have all my school supplies I need for that day, textbooks and stuff in my backpack. I load up and then I head off to work. I work every day, Monday through Friday, uh, which they adjust my schedule for my classes. So I always go to work after either an hour or four hours, depends on what day it is, then I go to classes. And then I usually come back to work, finish up the day, and then come home and start doing homework or any chores that may need to be done. I feel like I have stepped out of poverty, but I'm on the edge. And the reason I say I'm on the edge is yes, I have a nice house, but I'm unemployed, I get unemployment. I work the financial aid part to pay for my tuition and get what's left over. And I make all of that cover my bills. Um, I worked at a company local here in Paducah and my starting wage was $3 and I think 45 cents. Um, working 40 hour job, that's 200 and something dollars. I mean, it was not a lot because of getting pulled too thin, uh, I just couldn't handle it. And so, stop going to school, try to focus on work, guess what, school loans kick in, and so then you're pulled down even further, and it just felt like you couldn't get ahead. And that's what led to my decision to join the military. They promised to pay for education, and so that's how I'm getting a lot of my college paid for. Mm -hmm. And what did you do at USAC? I was a federal peace officer for the Department of Energy. My job was to guard uh, nuclear material and secrets. Well, the other two to three uh, layoffs didn't hit our department, but they hit everywhere else in the plant. You know, they got engineers, they got electricians, you know, roads and ground, stuff like that. And then after they had cut most of those people, then it came to our department. I had some savings um, because of the fact I'd seen the first few layoffs coming and it's it was inevitable. We knew the company was going down. I feel that with a little bit of savings I have, which is not much, and what I can save, then that's what's going to carry me through. And you know, I look at it and I sit there and it's going to be tight. Well, the problem is, come into next semester, into May 2015, I go to Murray. Hopefully I can land another student work study and that will help comp some of the expenses that I'm going to incur. Um, all I can do now is live frugal and make all my payments, save my 50 bucks or maybe 75 a month uh, with what savings I have now. And then once I lose the job and start in the summer up in Murray, that I can make what I have now stretch until I get my degree.